Capricorn, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early September 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Cappies. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going, my guides. Talk to me. What do we got for the Capricorn Collective here in early September? The year is marching along. What energies, messages, insights can we have a little look at? And yeah, we're just going to take a quick peek at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for the Cappies. Please, let's get this first card out nice and quick for my good friends. What is happening in early September? Please. Okay. And the year just kind of flew by, at least from my perspective it did, right? Already towards the fourth quarter. Okay, now this card to me can mean several things. One of the messages is very lighthearted. It could be about having a good time and having fun, but there's also aspects of control. And as I'm sure you could see there, we have like this little puppet master there. So we'll talk about that in, in depth. Before we do, though, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the September subscriber surprise towards the end. So you might want to check that out. And also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk more about this card. So, yeah, I already gave you a little sneak preview of what I think this card usually means. We see this jester putting on a puppet show, literally pulling the strings. So again, the positive message here really ties into you cutting loose, having fun, having a good time, because at its root, this person here, they're playing, they're having a good time. So if things have been serious, if things have been dull, if things have been monotonous for you, spirit might want you to cut loose a little bit, have a good time. Now, this can also represent having control as well. So like having a good time, but not too good of a time, like one of those types of vibes. But as I'm sure a lot of you already knew what I was alluding to with somebody pulling the strings, this can represent somebody trying to keep a situation under control, literally pulling the strings. Hopefully this isn't some sort of like hidden hand, something we don't see. I don't always go worst case scenario, but this could represent somebody having control, even if it looks like they don't. So we're just going to, we'll explore and see if that shows up within the reading itself. For a lot of you, it could just be about cutting loose a little bit, which would be a very nice reading. So let's put that jester over there. He could keep doing his puppet show. Let's get into tarot. And yeah, I'm going to get you three cards in the upright before we get into that intuitive juiciness. And I always say the first card here doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. So let's shuffle this up one time for my beautiful cabbies. What do we have here? And while we get this deck shuffled up and ready to go, let's talk about last week's reading. A lot of metamorphosis, a lot of change, and the reading was titled A Sudden Change. So whether that's a change of circumstance, a change within yourself, seeing things a little differently to me is something that kicks in very quick. So just know there could be various things in this time that are shifting. And life is about perpetual change, but this one felt very sudden. So let's see what energy shows up this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So let me take this how it hits for you, because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to. Let's get it going. Three cards for the Cappies. What do we got in early September? Thank you. Two of Wands. So there's a little bit of strategy and planning here. This may have been something we saw a few weeks ago. I mean, for some reason, it's like hitting my memory here. With this two of wands because this is very much a strategic plan-based type of energy let's get a couple more nine of swords a little stress induced okay and always remember that it, this doesn't just have to be you but nine of swords is always something to stress or it means a little bit of stress from some direction let's get one more out here quick page of pentacles now that's a card that could represent you very good for new things new endeavors it's a very fresh type of energy. So, yeah, we, we definitely have a little intriguing mixture of things happening this week, Capricorn. So let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, then we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. But at first look, first glance, I was already speaking as the cards were popping out. But we have a nice elemental mix, that's for sure. We have a little fire and air. Now, that can be a little combustible when we mix those two. We also have some earth grounding us down on the back end. So that does tell me, like, all right, yeah, something might be a little, a little up and down, but it's not going to get out of control with a card that could be representing you there. Now, 
let's just go through piece by piece and really start to build this out because I feel like this week's reading is going to be a little more nuanced than it usually is for Capricorn. Usually with your readings, my friends, it's like very cut and dry, straightforward to the point. I feel like there might be some layers. So that could indicate for some of you that maybe there's certain situations where it's a little complex, might be a little more complicated than they might seem. But position number one, we're leading off with the two of wands. Now, this is generally a positive leaning card. And I say all cards have positive and challenge. So let's go through it. Two of wands to me, as with all twos, could represent decisions, choices, partnerships, being at a crossroads of some sort. Um, so there could be something you're mulling over, something you're thinking about. But out of all the twos, this one to me is very strategic. It's plan-based. So if you are going through problems or certain situations are bothering you, Spirit could be telling you like slow, methodical, plan it out. Don't be too spontaneous because when we have fire and air right next to each other, that could be a little wild. It could be a little spontaneous. It could represent curveballs. So there is something here about planning. Now, when we get to the challenging aspect of the two ones, and now back to the positive, yeah, it could represent distance, travel, taking a trip. So keep that in mind. But when we get to the challenging aspect, it could be an indecisive type of energy or somebody that feels like they're stuck in neutral if that makes sense, like we're treading water, we're not making a lot of progress in its challenging form. Um, if you're dealing with a person that's very indecisive, this could be them and planning and strategy could really go both ways, especially when we had this guy here in the very front. So we're going to have to really look into this further. That's for sure. But I feel like any situations you might be going through a methodical approach is warranted when this energy leads off. Now, moving to the second position, we have the Nine of Swords. And I always say when this card pops out, you don't really need to be an expert in tarot to understand what it means. You see this person, they're in bed, they got the face in the hands, it looks like they're really stressing something out. So first and foremost, to me, this is a very wound tight type of energy. Someone that's like stressing about something could, it doesn't always have to be worst case scenario. Maybe there's something on your mind that's like in your thoughts, in your brain, thinking about it over and over and over and over. And, and this is a card of repetitious thought as well. Now the positive of the Nine of Swords, it does tell me that something could be coming to head. It, could sometimes represent things coming to light as well. This is also one of my cards of the paranormal, but a good thing about it is that it's not permanent. This is not a permanent energy. It moves quick because it's air element. So it's good. Now, remember, it doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody else that's a little wound tight, a little stress filled. And we had that message about like having a good time or cutting loose. Now on to the back end, this might be the cornerstone of the reading, we have the Page of Pentacles. I mentioned a couple times, it's one of the cards that could represent you. Remember, it's not gender specific, could be any earth sign as well. So Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, you name it. All pages are new, they're fresh. They represent students learning new things, learning new skills. They're also about communication, speaking, talking. So any of these things could really be up at bat when we get over here to clarify. Now, in my simplistic style, could just tell us something that's coming towards you or what you might be feeling or a new endeavor that you might be taking on. When it comes to the challenging aspect of the Page of Pentacles, it's not fully developed. Like it could represent like a good idea of some sort or something that's in the works, but it's not fully developed yet. And it could represent opportunities, of course, but you need to make moves to make it happen. When this Page of Pentacles is here, it could also be a little bashful a little shy. So if we're talking about communication, this could be somebody holding back a little bit, but we're going to have to dive deeper on all of it, Capricorn. So let's do it. Let's jump in and clarify. Okay. Let's get a good shuffle here for my cappies, please. What's happening for my good friends, guides and spirit team. And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader, the interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that too once. <clears throat> oh, and yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to our cappy friends, you can put it in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, two of wands time. What's happening here? What is that two? Thank you. Okay, this could be really good. If if you are planning something out, strategizing, this could be an energy of massive victory coming up. Something really going according to plan or something go, like coming to fruition. This is a very exciting energy that we're starting off with at least. Now, you know, when we do a progressive spread like this, 
It could be showing the current or the past and then moving into the future, how it might go. But the Six of Wands is one of the best cards in the whole entire deck to me. It's a card of public notoriety. It's a card of victory coming out on top, gaining recognition for the things that you've done. Not saying that you're looking for it, but when I see this, it's somebody being recognized in one way or another. So straight up victorious type of energy. So when we combine both of them, remember, they're both fire elementals here. So the two of wands clarified by the six of wands to me, it screams a plan coming to fruition. So again, if this is indicating a problem in the center or a situation that's a little stressful, this could be spirit saying like, all right, take a breath, calm down, plan it out. Like if you have this, if you have the steps set up, that will lead you to victory. That will lead you to a more prosperous outcome in whatever it is you're dealing with. Cause I know cappies are dealing with various different things, right? No one's the same. Every human being is a little different. This is also Leo energy. So if you're connected to Leo, this could be them showing up here, especially under this plan-based vibe. But to me, I just see massive victory or plan coming to be, plan coming to fruition. Now, if there's nothing that you should be strategizing right now, Spirit could be telling you, okay, maybe make like a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, like chart a course forward. Because if you do that, there could be a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, massive victory energy. Love it. This is a great way to start. Now, I'm cautiously optimistic. I'll say that Capricorn, especially with the Nine of Swords coming up. But the way the energy is progressing, it's a different flavor than last week. So let's keep it moving here. Let's see what's up with that Nine of Swords. Why is that Nine of Swords here? So I could say for some of you, if that's not where you're headed in the future, this could be spirit saying like, all right, well, something at least started good and started great. So why is that Nine of Swords here? Okay. So another card that could be representing you showing up here, something slowing down. To me, this does feel like a speed bump, a barricade, or some sort of problem that you might face. Now, I feel like I need to say this, although I see long-term victory here in the front, which is a great thing, I think you need to plan for different eventualities. Like, okay, well, if what happens if this happens? What happens if that doesn't happen? Like, try to plan for every eventuality, which I know is impossible because the universe can always throw us a curveball. But this is another one of your cards here. So when I see the Nine of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles, it could mean a couple of different things. Either one, somebody is concerned or stressing about you, like stressed, anxious, nervous, or this could be your energy. And if this is you, that indicates a big problem or a speed bump. I don't want to like overblow it, but to me, it's like, oh yeah, we're starting good. This is great. And now it's like, er, we're slowing down and it's like, oh, this is stressful. This is stressful. It doesn't feel like I'm moving forward. And I know Capricorn's a cardinal sign. Cardinal signs love to continue to make progress and forward movement. So for some Capricorns, maybe there's certain things that are going to start slowing up a little bit or trickling down. But I feel like we're still moving in a positive direction. Now let's talk about the Knight of Pentacles real, real quick before we move forward. Aside from the earth sign energy, all nights are about action and forward momentum. This is the slowest one, but it's slow and steady. Remember I was saying here in the beginning, let's think long-term here, Capricorn. Even though this is a weekly reading, we should be thinking long-term about something. So I really do like this Knight of Pentacles for the most part because it's meticulous. It's moving at its own pace. However, I do feel for some of you, this could indicate like a speed bump. But again, it's not like a final destination. It's only a current situation. So yeah, watch out for the, the problems that could be popping up. Let's, let's move over to the Page of Pentacles and see what that has to tell us. Then we shall do a quick little recap before we get into the shadow. So what's going on here with that Page of Pentacles? For my cappies, please. It's on page here. Thank you. Okay. So we have the Hermit in reverse. And I've been seeing this for like some of the other signs in the Zodiac. So you might be having a lot of communications that you weren't expecting to have. Now, can this be tied to the energy we see here in the middle? Sure. I mean, it, once again, it could be one of those curveballs from the universe, but for a portion of you, it could be having conversation or talk with someone where they reemerge. So it wouldn't surprise me if uh, possible individuals cycle back around, whether it's a friend that you've lost touch with, a family member you haven't spoke to in a long time. When I see the hermit flipping up in reverse underneath this, this page of pentacles, it's like, oh, someone's reemerging. Something's reemerging. Either that or it's a conversation or talk that is unexpected. Okay, and again, I saw this for several other signs this week. I guess it's something in the air. I need to look at the astrological charts and see what transits are happening. 
But yeah, we have the Hermit here. Now that's Virgo energy. And usually it's a shrouded, retracted, pulled back type of energy. So whether this is spirit saying like, all right, Capricorn, you need to start something now while we're in Virgo season, which is where we are at the moment. This to me is just someone coming forward or something coming forward. So I feel like we don't need to overcomplicate it. It, it is what it is, my friends. So let's put that hermit down right there. Let's go through and do a quick little recap before we get into the shadow card. I would say this reading to me skews positive, even though we have this problematic energy in the middle or this like stalled out energy. But let's just go through piece by piece before the shadow. Position number one, we're starting with fire. We're starting with a lot of gusto and flame. We have the two of wands with the six of wands. I did say big picture thinking is what spirit's really nudging a lot of Capricorns towards whatever your goals, ambitions, uh, positive results, and things that you want. It's very important to plan it out and don't be too spontaneous. Another vibe I'm picking up here is that of just something going according to plan. So it's intriguing how we have like a plan coming to fruition but we also have a curveball at the same time so this could be two separate situations for sure but yeah massive energy of victory here in the front end moving to the center we have the nine of swords with the knight of pentacles in the upright so whether it's somebody stressed or nervous about you like thinking about you quite a bit maybe your mind is going a little more so than normal but the big vibe i was picking up here is like oh well it started good or things were moving all right and something slowing down to a crawl or just representing a, a problem that pops up. So just keep in mind, I don't feel like it's a permanent issue. It's something that will pass. Moving to the back end, and it could just be a slow time, but we have the Page of Pentacles with the Hermit in reverse. Now, for a lot of you, if you're wanting to throw your energy into new things, new tasks, Virgo season right now could be the time to at least get it started. But when I see this, I'm thinking of somebody possibly re re-emerging so keep your radar open because you might be having contact with people you haven't heard from in quite a while so please take a screenshot of that let's see what's in the shadows for you so let's get a good shuffle here for the cappies my god so what's going on for my good friends what is happening and yes i always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge they could be a good thing so let's get you one. Oh, and yes, if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love for all my channel members. Okay, let's get this going. What is in the shadows for my good friends? There it is. Thank you. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Watch out for a little bit of solitude or feeling like you're in solitude when the Five of Pentacles is here. I would say when we're talking monetarily, this could just be spirit telling you to like uh, save up, stash things in your piggy bank if you need to. But generally, when this shows up as a shadow card, it could represent someone that's either feeling isolated, lonely, and watch out in this time for any abandonment issues showing up here. But yeah, there is some sort of little loneliness. Now, do, do I feel it affecting things in a major way? Absolutely not. For some of you, it could tie back very early to the beginning of the reading where you might need to have fun and socialize a little more. That could absolutely be it when this shows up as a shadow. Now, for another portion of you, the shadow represents an energy that we don't readily see. So if we're talking about somebody else's energy, they could be holding something within, something that they're going through. So it's a little uncomfortable. Keep that in mind. If you're having difficulties with a specific person this five of pentacles is a longing it's a missing or feeling left behind okay so we're just going to leave it at that and yeah capricorn that's what i have for you this week my friends don't click away just yet though i'm going to give you the details of the september subscriber surprise if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can check out my digital calendar at my website mastermetaphysics.com but for the september subscriber surprise i'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks of all time the beautiful wizard's tarot it's gorgeous and it works great so if you'd like to get your name in for this it's two simple things as always my friends first you must be subscribed and second let me know down in the comments where would you like to go for your dream vacation what are you manifesting let me know let's bring it to fruition you'll be entered to win and at the end of the month the winners will be announced in the community tab as always my friends much love and i'll see you again